hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching for tech so finally oneplus has released the new android 12 base open beta 1 for oneplus not 2 so today in this video we will discuss how to install this update what are the new features you get in the new update what are the bugs and if you didn't like the new update how to downgrade to old oxygen os v19 all steps are shown here all the things given in a timeline so you can jump to the specific part of the video if you want here is one important warning this update is for only indian region dn2101 not 2 so other and eu region don't try this and if you are using the twrp recovery and your bootloader is unlocked then never ever try to flash this via twrp or even through the stock recovery if you do so you may be in a continuous boot loop and no way to boot into the recovery or the fast boot i personally gone through it but i recovered the device if anyone is already in this situation Message me at telegram or I also create a video regarding that. Only log bootloader user flies this update via stock recovery. Now without further ado, let's get started. On a new adventure. So here is my Note 2. I am using the old Oxygen OS A18 version. You can upgrade from any Oxygen OS to open beta 1. No data will be wiped in the upgrade process but if you want to downgrade, data will be lost. So for safety, always keep the full backup of storage and the partition backup of the device. Now download the update file of 4GB open beta 1. It's in a zip.rar format. So using the file manager, first rename it to only .zip file by removing the extension .rar. Now remove all the pins and the password from the security setting. Now power up the device and long press volume down plus power button to boot your device in a stock recovery. If it's not booting in a stock recovery then you can use the adb commands on the PC. Once booted to the stock recovery select your desired language now tap install from the storage locate your zip file. Once process done tap reboot. So finally we booted to the brand new Oxygenos Android 12 open beta 1. This Oxygenos version is complete overall of old Oxygenos because it's based on the ColorOS 12 and have the mixture of both Oxygenos and ColorOS. Let's jump to the settings and about phone. All the settings looks different now here as you can see on the phone. At the top we get the OT updated tile, device details and the storage tiles. Android version is now 12 with the new Android 12 material you clock easter egg. If you tap version, we see the its build number as 11C03. Kernel version is 4.24186 plus. Now we will take the look of new Oxygen OS 12. All the changes starts from the launcher itself. New Oxygen OS launcher is completely changed here. If you long press on the home screen, we get the all the launcher setting and the home screen customization at the bottom like the wallpaper, icons, widgets, layout, transition animation, etc. Here we get the bunch of the new wallpaper, we can set the different icon shapes and can load any icon pack also. Here we get the new option like ART plus icon, actually this will redesign the app icons from the third party applications that we install from the play store. Transition animation is also new setting which has the bunch of the new animation for the home screen swipe. Inside the settings of the launcher we get the double tap on anywhere on the home screen to wake the device and to sleep the device. While applying the wallpapers, we get the one bulb like tab. When we tap on it, it will give us the modified wallpaper based on the original wallpaper. Sad thing is that I didn't see the automatic wallpaper based monet theming in the open beta, but you can use the OnePlus themes which has the similar experience to the monet theming that I will discuss in the latter part of the video. Let's check the new shape. Now we can swipe down from the top right corner to access the new shape. From the left remaining part, we can swipe down to access the stock notification. In the shape, we get the new tile based widget likes the weather, we get the app tile, step counter tile, etc. We can long press and move these tiles anywhere in the shape. In the top right gear icon setting, we can add the more widgets and change the aspects of the shape tile also. Here comes the new dark mode available in the settings and under the display brightness tab. New dark mode has the three different level of dark mode like the enhanced, medium and the gentle. Each tab has the different level of darkness. We also get the settings like the adapt to contrast and the adjust wallpaper for the each mode in the dark mode setting. The new work life balance app has been added in the special feature tab of the setting. It's nothing but the adding the two different profiles like the work mode and the life mode in the phone. We can add our official or also called as the working apps in the work mode 
with the time duration of work mode like from the 9 am to 6 pm from evening 6 pm to morning 8 30 am there will be live mode can be added with the respective apps that we want to enjoy our free time it's nothing but the reducing the strains by avoiding the work within our relaxing time once set it up and activated we we'll get the continuous notification for it in a status bar app draw comes with the new app called as the oneplus themes here we we'll get the huge collection of themes by users who can use some of them for the free and some for the free trial or as a paid application actually it's adding the material you like theming in the overall settings of the phone adds the new wallpaper and the fonts also if you want to go to the default theme just tap the me tab at the bottom there you get the my theme tab open it and apply your default theme of the device here comes the new battery engine this newly added smart battery engine is a feature that prolongs the battery life based on the smart algorithms and the biometrics of cell restoration technology whole ui of battery stat has been changed here in advanced setting we can enable the some more settings like the half performance mode sleep stand by optimization optimize night charging etc system will give you recommendation to improve the battery also like turning off the high battery draining apps turn off the gps change refresh rate etc here i done as per the recommendation and surprisingly battery estimates increase by the one and half hour here comes the new canvas aod in a personalization setting this new canvas aod will give the diverse styles of the lines and the colors for the more personalized lock screen experience with the inspiring visuals this new AOD has the optimized software algorithm and improved face recognition to for the better identity of the feature and the skin color of different figures. Here I added one canvas AOD, it's looking amazing on my lock screen. Another customization you guess is the BT emoji on the lock screen. When you open it, it will ask you to download the BT emoji application from the Play Store. After complete setup, you can see the new BT emoji avatar based on your personality in the lock screen. On the lock screen, you can see the beat emoji moods, like if you are sleeping, it shows the sleeping emoji. It will show you similar beat emoji moods on the lock screen. This new update got the new gallery application. This gallery app now allows you to switch between the different layouts with the two finger pin gesture, intelligently recognizing the best quality picture and cropping the thumbnail based on the content. So it's making the gallery layout more pleasing. In the display and the brightness setting, you get the image sharpener and the video color mode setting. It optimizes the extra HD, a feature that can significantly enhance the image and the video resolutions. So overall in the new update, you can see the new color OS features and the look mixed into the original Oxygen OS. Some things are pleasant and some things are really useless, which gives the look of cartoonish OS to the original Oxygen OS. But it's everyone's own choice. I tested all the things like Wafa, Wafa Hotspot, Bluetooth, Fingerprint, Allo Slider, NFC, GPS, all the things are working in this build. Let's see the camera. Camera now have the new user interface who gets the new additional features in the more setting of the camera like the dual view video which has the front and the back camera view at the same time in a video recording. 50 megapixel mode is an interesting feature. In this, if you take the picture, it captures the picture as taken from the long distance. And it has the more zoom as compared to the picture taken without the 50 megapixel. Except this cam quality is very good. And now we get the bunch of the new option also in the new camera application. Here comes the new gaming mode app available in the app drawer. When you place the games, you can swipe down from the left and the right corner of the device to access the new gaming mode which has the new tiles to use some chatting apps like the whatsapp messenger etc new performance setting tile notification enable or disable tile touch optimization tile voice module to change your voice while doing the online streaming of the game screen record and system status so this is the new gaming mode is much more advanced and gives the more fun and the less disturbance while playing the games so what are the bugs? As per the change log, we might be unable to use the face unlock in the dark after turning on the brighten screen in the dim light through the settings. And second bug is the Fortnite game is not opening or the crashing. If you are a fan of Fortnite, it may be disappointing for you. I didn't like that game so I do not test it this bug is there or not. So finally, if you don't like the update and decided to roll back to the old Oxygenos version, then download the rollback version from the link given under the video description. 
Now enable the developer setting by tapping the 8 times on the build number in a version tab of the about phone section. Now go to the about phone, then tap on the OT updater, there tap 3 dot menu from the right top corner. Select the local install and locate your downgrade file, system will verify the file and finally it boots to the recovery and flash the downgrade package. So we back to our Oxygen OS A19 stable update for the Nord 2. This will wipe all the data so keep the backup of all the phone files. That's it guys the new beta update is good but I really don't like that cartoonish look. Let me know your thought in a comment section about this. If you want the stability, performance, battery and the routing video of Oxygen OS 12, I will create the poll. If I will get the good response, I will create the video. So if you like my work, please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content for the Nord 2. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.